NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, has revealed a breakthrough in battery technology that could revolutionize electric aviation and space exploration. Yes, you heard that right, NASA has developed a sulfur-selenium solid-state battery that breaks energy storage boundaries and promises to be safer, lighter, and more powerful than conventional lithium-ion batteries. What is a sulfur-selenium solid-state battery? Well, as the name suggests, it's a battery that uses sulfur and selenium as the main components of its cathode, which is the positive electrode where electricity flows out of the battery. The anode, which is the negative electrode where electricity flows into the battery, is made of lithium metal, which is one of the most abundant and lightest elements on Earth. The battery also uses a solid-state electrolyte, which is the medium that allows ions to move between the electrodes. Unlike conventional lithium-ion batteries, which use liquid or gel electrolytes that can leak or catch fire, solid-state electrolytes are more stable and resistant to high temperatures and pressures. The main advantage of using sulfur and selenium in the cathode is that they have very high theoretical capacities, which means they can store a lot of energy per unit mass. Sulfur has a capacity of 1,670 milliampere hours per gram, while selenium has a capacity of 675 milliampere hours per gram. In comparison, the typical cathode material used in lithium-ion batteries such as lithium cobalt oxide has a capacity of only 140 milliampere hours per gram. By combining sulfur and selenium in different ratios, NASA researchers have achieved capacities ranging from 800 to 1200 milliampere hours per gram. This translates to an energy density of 500 watt hours per kilogram which is about double that of conventional lithium-ion batteries. Energy density is a measure of how much energy a battery can store per unit mass or volume. It's one of the most important factors for electric vehicles, especially for aircraft, which need to be as light and compact as possible to reduce fuel consumption and emissions. NASA estimates that electric aircraft need batteries with an energy density of at least 500 watt-hours per kilogram to be viable. With its sulfur-selenium solid-state battery, NASA has achieved this goal and opened up new possibilities for electric aviation. But energy density is not the only thing that matters for batteries. They also need to have high power density, which is a measure of how fast a battery can deliver or receive energy. Power density is crucial for aircraft during takeoff and landing, when they need a lot of power in a short time. Conventional lithium-ion batteries have an advantage over solid-state batteries in this aspect because they can discharge their stored energy more quickly. However, NASA researchers have found a way to make their solid-state batteries discharge 10 times faster than when they started the research. They did this by using a robust conductive matrix with carbon materials and holy graphene, which are sheets of carbon atoms with tiny holes that enhance electron transport. Another challenge for solid-state batteries is their cycle life, which is a measure of how many times a battery can be charged and discharged before losing its performance. Cycle life is affected by many factors such as temperature, current rate, depth of discharge, and internal resistance. One of the main causes of degradation in solid-state batteries is the formation of dendrites on the lithium metal anode. Dendrites are needle-like structures that grow over time and can pierce through the electrolyte and short-circuit the battery. This can lead to reduced capacity, lower efficiency, and even fire or an explosion. To prevent dendrite formation, NASA researchers have used various strategies, such as adding protective coatings on the anode surface, using solid polymer composite electrolytes, and optimizing the design of the cathode and electrolyte layers. As a result, they've achieved over a thousand cycles with less than 10% capacity loss, which is comparable to or better than conventional lithium-ion batteries. Besides having high-performance metrics, NASA's sulfur-selenium solid-state battery also offers some other benefits over conventional lithium-ion batteries. For instance, it's more secure. It eliminates the use of flammable liquid or gel electrolytes, which can cause fire or explosion hazards. It also tolerates temperatures up to twice as high as conventional lithium-ion batteries, which makes it more adaptable to extreme conditions such as space or deserts. It is more economical. It relies on abundant and inexpensive materials such as sulfur, selenium, and lithium, which lowers its manufacturing and maintenance costs. It also steers clear of rare and costly metals such as cobalt, nickel, and manganese, which often entail environmental and social problems such as mining pollution and human rights violations. It's more eco-friendly. It employs non-toxic and environmentally friendly materials, which reduces its environmental impact. 
It also cuts down greenhouse gas emissions by enabling more efficient and clean electric vehicles. It can charge more quickly. They have faster charging and discharging rates, which means they can provide more power in a shorter time. This is because they have lower internal resistance and higher ionic conductivity than liquid electrolytes. Finally, they have longer shelf life and calendar life, which means they can retain their capacity and performance for longer periods of time. This is because they have less self-discharge and less degradation from side reactions than liquid electrolytes. So what does this mean for the future of flight? Well, it means that we could see more electric aircraft in the sky, such as hybrid or all-electric planes, air taxis, drones, or even spaceships. These electric aircraft could offer many benefits, such as lower noise, lower emissions, higher efficiency, and lower operating costs. They could also enable new modes of transportation, such as urban air mobility, which is the use of small electric aircraft to provide fast and conventional travel within and between cities. NASA is already working on several projects to develop and test electric aircraft technologies, such as the X-57 Maxwell, the first all-electric experimental aircraft, the Scepter, a hybrid electric distributed propulsion aircraft, and the Ingenuity, a small helicopter that flew on Mars. Of course, there are still many challenges and uncertainties for electric aviation, such as regulations, infrastructure, public acceptance, and market demand. But NASA's sulfur selenium solid state battery is a major step forward in overcoming one of the biggest technical barriers energy storage. By developing a battery that is safer, lighter, and more powerful than conventional lithium ion batteries, NASA has opened up new horizons for electric aviation and space exploration. NASA's sulfur selenium solid state battery has attracted a lot of media and public attention as it's a breakthrough in energy storage technology that could enable new possibilities for electric aviation and space exploration. The media has reported on the details and advantages of the battery, such as its high energy density, high power density, long cycle life, safety, low cost, and environmental friendliness. Some media outlets have also highlighted the potential applications of the battery for various NASA missions, such as electric aircraft, air taxis, drones, spacesuits, landers, rovers, and habitats. The public reaction has been mostly positive and enthusiastic, as many people have expressed their interest and excitement for the battery and its implications for the future of flight. Some people have also praised NASA for its innovation and leadership in battery research and development. However, some people have also raised some questions and concerns about the battery, such as its scalability, availability, reliability, and compatibility with existing systems. Some people have also wondered how the battery compares to other emerging battery technologies, such as solid-state lithium metal or lithium sulfur batteries. Overall, NASA's sulfur selenium solid-state battery has generated a lot of buzz and curiosity in the media and public sphere, as it is a game-changing technology that could transform electric aviation and space exploration. That's all for today's video. I hope you learned something new and interesting. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. What do you think of NASA's sulfur selenium solid-state battery? Would you fly on an electric airplane or an air taxi? Let us know your thoughts. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.